Hi-o, everyone. It's Madison from Scratch Mouth. And I want to give uh, some updates and some things that have been happening. Check in on the check in on the, the base, you know, the subscribers, the followers. And uh, I also want to tell you all that my new EP, It's Too Cold In Here Fuck, just dropped all six tracks. Um, most tracks are very serious. There's some comedy thrown in there. Uh, go check it out. It's probably one of my best solo demos yet. It was all recorded on this phone that I am filming on right now on Band Lab. And I just use my guitar. So, uh, simple shit like that makes me happy. And I guess that's what's going to really start off this talk. Because I got some huge news followed by some background. Uh, you all have been seeing me fight social services over my disorder for the last four months now it seems like it just seems like it's going on forever uh good news i didn't win but it's almost at an end i kind of won in my own way i will explain that here in a minute uh i've been drived from music since i was five um the thing i wanted to do growing up was always be a singer and now i'm a singer and a guitar player and a bassist so that's way more than I thought I would accomplish and which gets into the serious part of this is I didn't think I would actually live to see these accomplishments. Um, I wasn't even told I was going to make it to 18 and now I'm 21 and I'm making EPs, I'm performing shows, I'm getting into the music scene and I'm even friends with some of the bands that I went and saw. And uh, it's probably one of the things I kind of wanted to set out and do ever since I was a child, really. It's been such uh, an emotional ride just to get there. And I believe that it's so awesome that I get to experience with my best friend right beside me, Connor. We get to experience all these uh, first milestones together because I also thought in the future I would probably have to do this all alone. And luckily, I don't have to do that. I got a great crew. Uh, I got people making sure I make good content and just don't bang out bullshit. You know, um, and a uh, musician has been the main thing I wanted. I never wanted anything else. I had people, I had people say like, well, would you rather do this? Would you rather do that? And I was like, no. No, it's always music. It was always music. We're actually here doing this. So I just want to appreciate all you guys. I want to appreciate the fact that I can make music. And I want to appreciate the music I have been putting out, even though my life has kind of hadn't been going good recently. More like crumbling at my feet, but we fixed that. And we're past that. And uh, that's the big update. Okay, so right now they're throwing me through the testing stages of getting cured. There is only one known cure to MSUD, and that is a liver transplant uh, due through surgery, obviously. It is it is what exactly it sounds like, just blatant down a transplant that can cure my disorder. And uh, they're putting me through the testing stages to see if I'm compatible for that. And uh, it's coming way faster than I thought. And uh, the big question that i always been asking myself recently when... Uh, imagining fantasizing about being cured i've been wanting cured ever since i was like five this has been really my life goal and dream and to have it actually presented on the table with me could make me just wow i'm just really thankful of my life right now that's all i gotta really say uh i kind of dodged a bullet so uh they're seeing if i'm a candidate so i can't really say uh dippity doo da the surgery is happening but what I can say is it's in motion and it's more leaning towards a yes because of how healthy I am for a kid with my condition. So uh, that's something to be really celebrated. And uh, I thought I'd just let you guys know that I could possibly be cured within a few years or something. And uh, I'll still be making music and I'm obviously still gonna be helping uh, uh, the sick. I do got multiple mu movements, sorry, multiple movements being made up for kids with my disorder uh the unheard battle foundation is uh this charity that i'm working on that kind of brings uh stuff that kids with my disorder need such as like uh medicine special food or if, if you want the treatment paid for if they won't pay for you 
you know, uh, we, uh, we're going to contact the families and the patients themselves instead of trying to go through their doctors and stuff. And we're going to see if they're getting their stuff paid for or if they're in a situation like I'm in. Because I would never want anyone to go through what I've been going through the last five months to have your life quality just sucked from you and being held on the line by someone who doesn't really understand your situation has got to be one of the most scariest things to ever happen. So I'm making a charity and when after I'm cured, I'm still going to be a big head in it to make sure that other kids get treatment and to make other kids get their needs paid for so they don't have to go through what I went through. Most kids with my disorder, they don't get to talk like I do. They don't get to think like I do. They don't get to do really. Most kids with my disorder are brain dead. They, they let their parents do all the talking. You know, that's, that's something that they can't control. And I can just imagine what the parents are going through during during these uh, situations. Like, not only you have a really sick kid, but you got uh, you got financial issues because of it, and his life is being held on the line. You know, and you know I'm not saying that everyone in the world is poor. You know, you possibly could have the money to pay for the disorder. You could have the money to pay for the medicine. You could have the money to pay for the food. You could have the money to pay for the surgery. But in reality, not everyone with these situations come out rich. You know what I mean? It's it's really just, really just what it's going on uh, with all these situations. I could never imagine having a kid with MSUD. You know, so... I'm really passionate about it. I'm very passionate about it. And it's funny uh, that they think that it's okay to just hold people's lives on the line. I mean, like, sorry, the music's distracting me. I'm, like, really, like, going in. <laughs> but um, it, it frustrates me how they can think that people can do that. And how do you – how do they sleep at night? You know, how, how, how do they sleep at night knowing that they're taking away someone's life quality? Uh, the thing I've been told was to live life exactly how you should live it, how you want to live it. Do what you want to do. Enjoy your time here. But how can you do that if you're constantly battling? And that's what I told my doctors over the phone. I had a recent talk with my genetics team. They were even more happy to hear that I wanted to cure than I was. And I just took the initial blood test to start the testing. And so I'm being pushed forward into that process. And, um, you know, some people with my disorder won't be grateful enough to see this stage. And there's only been a known few cases that, you know, did it and come out and stuff. Like I did a lot of readings on cases. I did uh, some research of the data of how the surgeries went. I did everything and I pulled up a lot of homework before talking to my doctors about this, just to make sure that it was okay to even pitch. And uh, they're putting that into the thing. So I could never imagine like, just being on the receiving end as a parent to a kid that's going through that. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm just like bambling on and ranting. I felt like ranting about my situation today and just telling you all that uh, I recently heard the news. That I'm in the testing stages for the cure. So I might be going into surgery around next year. Probably I wouldn't say it's this year because I know that waiting lists take forever. And my situation ain't DEFCON one yet. So they're probably going to put me like pretty big up there and they're going to be like, Oh, you're going to wait a while. That's fine. You know I mean? Waiting a while, taking a lot of medication after and going through this pain is worth anything else that I have possibly traversed to through the 21 years of my existence. This is a big accomplishment and step into medical science. This is a turning point in my life where I get a second chance to do what I want and to experience things I can never even imagine experiencing if I never brought up this question. So what lies in my future right now, I don't know, but I do know that it's good. And at the end of the day, I'm going to be okay. And in my own way, I won. Now, uh, during the gap time in between the surgery, though, I am going to have to income myself to pay for the medicine to wait out. They also said they are giving me medicine while the wait is going on, but they're just going to do what they can do. Uh, it's not like really they can give me like monthly supplies. They're just going to try to, you know, hold me over a bit. 
Um, I did knock down my medicine price to 250 a month's worth. It was 1200 a month's worth. And they thought I could afford that on my own. Bitch, I can't even get $20. Like, come on. Dude, <laughs> I literally can't even go down the street to get dinner right now. Because I'm that broke. I'm in between jobs right now. Uh, I recently talked to my manager. He wants me working again, so I might get my job back. So I'm not going to say I'm in between jobs forever. I will be able to soon afford my medicine because of the discount that I had to push. So at least I got that to bridge me in between until the surgery happens, you know. And uh, I will be updating you guys every day. Uh, after the surgery, during my recovery. I'm going to call it the recovery process uh, episodes. And uh, you're all going to come on this little journey with me on eating new foods that I can never have, doing things that I never thought I'd be able to do and just living my life. And I want to bring you all with me. I want to show everyone that my life has way more meaning than I thought it did. And I am really happy to announce that I'm kicking maple syrup urine disease's ass really fucking hard right now. And that is the best goddamn thing I have ever done. And I'm really proud of myself. And I hope that you guys are proud of me. And uh, prepare to see a lot of show footage. We got a few shows lined up for the, for the upcoming spring and summer. Uh, my demo is too cold as fuck. Out of my YouTube right now, six songs. You guys will like it. If you like my other shit, I think it's my best stuff. And, uh, you know, go check out my other stuff as well. Go check out uh, Connor's stuff, which should be coming out soon. We got more projects coming. He's making a few solo songs. We're working on another album. And I even got another EP that doesn't involve folk punk being made right now. So um, that's definitely big things to look forward to. So I hope you all have a really good day. Drink your water. Take your meds if you've got them. Appreciate life. Tell a family member you love them and just remember be happy that you are healthy. And if you aren't healthy, then be happy that you will be healthy soon because everything is possible if you just think things through. So on that note, have a good day, guys.